good, everybody. Hope that you guys are all having a super blessed day. And I say it before each video because I really do mean it. So every single year in college football, there is always one school that redefines what it means to dominate the recruiting boards. A team that year in and year out has pulled more four and five star recruits than some colleges have in their entire existence. And that of course, is them Alabama Crimson Tide. So today we're going to be taking a look at the University of Alabama's top five recruits for the class of 2019. Alabama's top five recruits this year consist of three five-star recruits and two four-star recruits. However, a quick disclaimer, I was not able to find any recent tape on Evan Neal, which was one of Alabama's five-star recruits. So instead we're going to be replacing him with Alabama's sixth best recruit. So it's still going to be their top five recruits. It's just, I wasn't able to find Evan Neal's tape. Now I'm going to give you guys more details about each player once we get into the highlights. But before we jump into the highlights, if you are not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications. And guys, let's get this video to 600 likes and also comment down below which school do you guys want me to cover next and look at their top five recruits. All right, but enough of me talking. Let's take a look at what the future of Alabama football is going to be looking like. Three, two, one. All right, let's take a look at Alabama's top five recruits for the class of 2019. So with that being said, let's take a look at Alabama's fifth best recruit in the class of 2019, Ishmael Sopcher. Ishmael is a 6'3 three and a half, 334 pound four-star defensive tackle. He's ranked as the third best player in Louisiana, the fifth best defensive tackle in the country, and the 47th best recruit in the class of 2017. And 24-7 Sports has him ranked as the 157th best high school football player of all time. Yeah, that's some pretty high praises for the boy. So let's see if Alabama was able to find another Quinn and Williams. Like, oh. <sighs> He's in the back. The, that, that was just too easy. That, that was too easy. I mean, he's moving pretty nicely. I can't tell. If the, I can't tell if the linemen are just not able to get a clean hit on them or not. But yo, he's moving out there. For being 330, his first like three to five yards, pretty quick. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Look how fast he's in the back with Dink. <laughs> yo, yo. This kid, he's gonna be, he's gonna be nice. Bruh, he is just eating these kids in the backfield. Right, and he, he can come with that power too. Bruh. He's just in the backfield immediately. And you guys already know what Alabama be doing to these defensive linemen. They be, they be turning them into just monsters. So Ishmael is going to be, he's going to be nice out there. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at Alabama's fourth best recruit out of St. Thomas Aquinas High School, Jordan Battle. Jordan is a 6'1", 187-pound four-star safety. He's currently ranked as the sixth best player in Florida, the second best safety in the country, and the 43rd best overall recruit in the class of 2019. So let's take a look at what Alabama's next playmaking safety is looking like. Like, oh. There you go, way to pick up that. Way to pick up the switch. Why are you testing my mans? Thank you, we going the other way with that. Oh, okay, get off me, little boy. <laughs> yo, he set up homeboy so dirty, yo. Just, first off, how does he actually see him? Like, like legit. He, he must he must have seen him right here. He just, he was just waiting for him. Just, hey, psych, yeah, you thought you got me. And that's easy money, let's go. I remember when I was in high school, I wanted to go to St. Thomas Aquinas so bad. I thought that they were like the dopest high school in the country. I like how he, there you go. I like how he stayed, like he, he's playing like a true safety. A lot of kids who are safeties, they play a lot of corner too. He's staying deep all the time. Like, and he has that speed to come and crash down. Oh yeah, Alabama, you guys, you guys definitely found some. Yo, 
Yo, I, I don't know where I don't know where that throw was going. You can't you can't just be lobbing it up like that. Yeah, I don't know. A couple some of these throws are just wild out here. And it ain't like St. Thomas Aquinas don't play in one of the toughest leagues in Florida. There you go, but not to bite on that. There you go. Oh, sit down, little boy. Yo, this this is actually super impressive. Cause Alright. This guy's meant to kind of pull him away from because it looks like it's a too high, it's a too high looking. The corner is he's staying down. So you could tell that for a second. Well, first off, the corner just gets beat right there. But he recovers so well to make sure that he, he's got his corners back. That was a great play. Next up, we're going to take a look at Alabama's third best recruit in the class of 2019 out of Hewitt Trustville High School, Pierce Quick. Pierce is a 6'5", 287-pound four-star offensive tackle. He's currently ranked as the fourth best player in Alabama, the seventh best offensive tackle in the country, and the 40th best recruit in the class of 2019. All right, let's take a look at who Alabama's going to be adding on to that offensive line. Like, oh. Get out of here, little boy. Get out of there. Dude, he is just manhandling. See, it's always so hard for I mean, here at Trustville High School, like they, they play in one of the toughest, like I'm pretty sure they're in the toughest division in Alabama. So it's not like he's not going up against elite quality, but it's like, bruh, when you're six, five, like he's just gonna be so much bigger than everyone that it's gonna be ridiculous. He's just getting these dudes out. <laughs> He's taking up like 15 yards downfield. Oh. Hold up. I, I know I know we're here for the old lineman, but yo. Running back was getting to popper right here. Let's go. <laughs> yo, who's who's their running back? Okay. Yeah, no, he's just embarrassing these kids out here. Nope, where are you going? I see you, I see you making your way up the field. They got a little bit of speed. Nope. <laughs> he just hits him with that punch and it's over. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at Alabama's second best recruit in the class of 2019 and one of my favorite players that I've looked at in this class out of IMG Academy, Trey Sanders. Trey Sanders is a six foot, 214 pound, five star running back. He is currently ranked as the second best player in Florida, depending on who you ask, either the number one or number two running back in the country and the sixth best player in the class of 2019. And 24-7 Sports has him ranked as the 176th best high school football player of all time so with that being said let's take a look at another one of alabama's great high school running back prospects that they always seem to bring in like oh again another one of those dudes it's like he, he went to img you're gonna get you're gonna get the clout because you're always going up against the best of the best <laughs> yo he's embarrassing dudes out here yo that spin move, filthy. Jump cut, filthy. Get off me. Nope, you thought. Get off me. And then he's got that 4-4 speed. And we're gone. Bye-bye. Let's go. Yo, if, if he didn't have to share the backfield with Noah Kane. <laughs> if he didn't have to share the backfield with Noah Kane, I think he would have been able to cement himself a little bit easier as the number one running back in the country. But yo, look at the change of direction. He's completely staring into this hole right here. And then just, psych, nope, you thought. Uh, psych, 11, nope, give me your ankles. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, Trey Sanders, but see, John Emery, he's nice too, though. Like this, this year, the top two running backs were really hard to differentiate like i feel like this year's top two running backs were like last year's top two quarterbacks and uh 
Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields. I think that those two guys are like kind of the same where it's like these two guys are just clearly the best in the country, just like Trey Sanders and John Emery are. Yeah, no, this, he, he, man, Alabama's going to be so dirty next year, man. They're going to be so dirty as they always are. I mean, come on. Get off of me, little boy. And last but not least, we're going to be taking a look at Alabama's top overall recruit in the class of 2019 out of Colonia High School, Antonio Alfano. Now to me, Antonio won the out of nowhere award for the class of 2019 because somewhere in the middle of the season, he was like a three and a half, four star recruit. And then once he started going to like the uh, Adidas All-American game, once he started like really getting into his season, he just started shooting up, boom, became a five star recruit. And then out of nowhere, it seemed like he was a top five player in the country. Now, Antonio is a 6'4", 285 pound, five star strong side defensive end. And according to 24-7 Sports Composite Ranking, which is where they gather the ranking information from places like ESPN, Rivals, and of course, 24-7 Sports, and combine them all together, Antonio is the number one player in New Jersey, the number one strong side defensive end in the country, and the fifth best recruit in the class of 2019. So with that being said, let's take a look at Alabama's top recruit in the country. Let go. You know, this dude is just a monster. Like he is just a legit monster. Thank you, we going the other way with that. He can move too. So guys, because really we looked at Alabama's top, well, we looked at their top six recruits because we weren't able to find Evan Neal's highlights, who is their third best recruit. So their top six recruits are all in the top 50 best players. And they pulled three players from the top 10 players in the country. Like Alabama, they just, they get who they want for real. Like if, if they really want you, they're going to get you. And I think Antonio, like this dude is going to just be another one of those great Alabama defensive linemen for real. You know, you're, you're just not like he's in the backfield before the quarterback can even hand the ball off. Like, do you know how fast you have to be in the backfield to do that? Go hunt him down. Go hunt him down. Dink. <laughs> Well, all right, guys, that is Alabama's top five recruits for the class of 2019. So Alabama fans, you guys should be more than happy because you guys pulled in a ton of talent. I mean, you guys are losing Quinnen Williams to the draft, but you got Ishmael Sopcher coming right behind him. And you guys are losing Josh Jacobs as well. But Trey Sanders might be an even better version of him. I swear, Alabama, they don't recruit, they reload year after year. But what'd you guys think of Alabama's top five recruits? Please be sure to comment it down below. All right, you guys, with that being said, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Yo, can we this video to 600 likes? Cause that lets me know that you guys enjoyed this video. Also don't forget to comment down below which team you guys want to see me do next for their top five recruits in the class of 2019. And I'll be sure to make that video. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am coming out with. Hey, uh. All right, you guys, with all that being said, hope that you guys all have a super, super blessed rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.